was the son of a pizza man. The only boy who could ever feed me. Hey guys, was welcome to Son of a Pizza Man. My name is Enzo. And I'm Davey. And today we're going vintage. We're talking about a vintage pizza English muffin recipe. But <laughs> so vintage. But before you do that, please remember to subscribe if you haven't. Uh, and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And here we go. Okay, so today we are talking about uh, this vintage recipe that a friend of a buddy of mine, Stephen B, will protect his identity. Um, he uh, sent me this recipe for pizza American style on muffins. It's from 1960. It's from a, an uh, like a was it the the Daily Defender, whatever that is? Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it's a if it's a newspaper. It's a newspaper. It's a local, um, it's a like a city newspaper. Okay, so this this recipe. Oh, it's a Chicago Defender. It's a local Chicago newspaper. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, there you go. Uh, so this recipe sounds so disgusting that I thought we had to try it, and um, yeah, so it's got a bunch of weird ingredients that are supposed to mimic sauce and cheese on a pizza. Jolly little offerings for either family meals or parties are these tasty individual pizzas on muffins. There's something special about pizzas, especially those that puts everyone in a cheery mood. Best of all, they're easy to fix. So these, uh, yeah, this is meant to be like a really quick, uh, easy pizza recipe. So, so I was buying the ingredients at the store today and I went to pick up the last ingredient and I kind of threw up in my mouth a little bit because uh, it's canned mushrooms. And I don't know about you, I hate mushrooms, first of all. You've been very good about being very into mushrooms lately. I know, We but slip them into things, you slip so, them into things of your own accord. So these... These are gross. These are canned mushrooms. And I remember when I was working in the pizza shop, uh, I would we would have these like giant tubs of these like sliced watery, slimy, slimy rubbery, and you would like put your hand in it. it they're like, kind of flavorless too. Yeah, they're really they gross. They taste like brine. Yeah, they're gross. So yeah. I can't wait to eat them. I am not looking forward to that, but... I like that anyway. this is Pennsylvania Dutchman. Stems and pieces. Shrimps. So, uh, yeah, so let's, uh, let's cut to the footage. All right, welcome back. So uh, yeah, so we I just made this uh, monstrosity, and a couple notes about uh, making it. Uh, it was it's gross. It was very strange to mix. So sauteing the onions in butter, fine. They smell delicious. But then uh, once I added the uh, applesauce and the uh, ketchup. Uh, it, it was hard to kind of mix them up because they, they were both like thick, thick. and but uh, it did actually look like sauce uh, in the it's end, like which, grainy which is and very stuff. surprising. So it looked like pizza sauce, but it did not smell like pizza sauce. I did not taste it because I wanted to be surprised. But it smells like it smells like sloppy Joe mix. 
to me. It it's, smells it's like the, a can. The Worcestershire. It's the Worcestershire, yeah, and the tomato. So um, I made two versions. The recipe calls for these canned mushrooms, which are really disgusting. Thank you for not putting them on all. And I just put them on half because. So I basically have all the, the recipe and the ingredients and everything. So can we just um, can we do the one the regular the plain one first and sure. then do the mushroom sure. because I want to I want to slowly put my foot in yeah. to the okay. hot hot water. Yeah. Okay. So okay. let's try the the one without the mushrooms. And there's uh, mozzarella cheese and parmesan on top. I put this thing fully in my mouth and took it back out because I was waiting for you. You ready? Yeah. Oh man. Well. You really think it's that gross? Yes, it tastes like applesauce. You can taste all the ingredients in it. Yeah, just like you can taste applesauce. Well, because the, the applesauce tastes like apples. Like it's really apple-y, Is my point. Oh my god. No. I mean, no. maybe I'm really hungry. Uh, yeah. I it's just, it's just, it's really sweet. It's very sweet. The sauce is really sweet. Um. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's just because I know what's in it. I think like it tastes like candy. I really do think it tastes like like uh, like sloppy joes, or alternately, just like barbecue sauce. There's something really gross about it that I'm not I'm not pleased with. Mm. It doesn't make me happy at all. So I was saying that I wonder whether or not. Wait, the, this is the, the face. I know, the I know. The video. I was wondering why fish mouth. I was wondering why or how when when uh, pizza sauce was invented. Um, when do you think it was invented? If you had a guess, like canned pizza sauce that you can. Eighteen fifty-seven. No, no, no. Eighteen fifty-nine. No. Eighteen sixty. Come on, farther. Pizza pizza sauce. Canned pizza sauce. I don't know, 1950 something? I don't know. So I was looking at, I was trying to look it up. I didn't find it. Anybody knows, let us know when canned pizza sauce was invented. But there is uh, a pizza company. So Totino's claims that they invented the frozen pizza in 1962. Mm -hmm. um, but this company called Celentano's absolutely had a market, had a pizza, had a frozen pizza on the market, but it was not a circular pizza. Mm. It was a square pizza mm. and it had break apart crust. Um, and that one came out in 1957. So it's possible to me, this all seems like something this, like is for like a mom to make a pizza for her Right, kid. and this recipe is right smack dab in the middle. It came from 1960, so yep. that makes sense. So, yeah, so all the ingredients are, are very common ingredients that anyone would have. It's shit you would have for something else. Yeah, yes. So, uh, all right, let's, are let's you ready to get another mushroom. I bet these mushrooms are gonna be so good. I'm... It's gonna be good. This is awful. All right, well, I had a bite with them. Ugh. Ugh, oh my God. I'm already... I'm already under the weather a little bit. <laughs> this, oh, eating this. baby. Makes me want to like vomit. Mm -hmm. Canned mushrooms are so gross. They're disgusting. So, overall, in conclusion, this is a huge fail. Uh, I would, I don't, you know, this is just bad, 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 bad. So to improve it, I don't know what I would do. I would probably not, not add the mushrooms. Um, it needs salt. I don't know. I, there's a little bit of salt, so maybe some more salt. I don't know. If it not, could be a higher ketchup to applesauce ratio, ratio is, it, is it one to one? It's uh, it was one one cup of applesauce and three quarters of a cup. So there's a little less ketchup. I think there's more applesauce. More, I think it should be more ketchup than applesauce. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. Uh, it's just. It's, it's almost gross. like the ingredients are more about the visual of it looking like tomato sauce, but it's still not red. It's still not red enough. No. That's what I'm saying. More ketchup. This makes me so sad. Note to chef. This makes me so sad. Yeah, this is terrible. So we're gonna get pizza for dinner tonight. Yeah, real and, pizza. And and say we're very sorry to the pizza gods. Mm -hmm. So sorry. 
We we knew it was wrong. We're human. Mostly human. Thanks guys for watching. As always, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Hit that like button and and like this video. If nope. you don't like it, just give it a thumbs down. I don't care. No! No, it's fine. If and you don't like it, go away. Don't go away. Just give it give no. it give us another try. No. Yeah, watch another video. Why don't you watch another video and, and think again? Don't leave the thumbs down. The thumbs down button even shouldn't even be there. Thumbs down. Any feedback is good feedback, in okay. my opinion. Hey, you know what? As long as it's constructive, I agree. Yes. Uh, so, if you have a recipe that you want me to try, just a comment below. Uh, or you can hit me up on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And, until next time, no. <laughs> Smell you later. Ciao for now. <laughs> Gross. The only one who could ever need me was the son of a pizza man